YouTube, it's me, it's your iPhone captain. Today we're going to be looking at Lock Info 7. This was just updated for iOS 7. If you have been a user of Lock Info before, this will be a free upgrade for you if you've already purchased like on iOS 6 or something. Um, personally, I've always used IntelliScreen X, but Lock Info 7 is very enticing, I have to admit. First of all, it's half the price as IntelliScreen X, and it just, to me, it's beginning to look a lot cleaner, and I'll show you what I mean by that. Uh, if we go ahead to our lock screen, I'll show you what it looks like now. You see the clock has been shrunk just a little bit, as well as the date to give you more room for notifications and things of that nature on the screen. And one of the big updates that's been that's come to it, if you swipe, touch touch a notification and swipe from the right you see it turns green that's going to mark that as red okay if we swipe from the left we get a little pop-up over here you saw that it was going to take me to and i need to end that it was going to take me in, i could select it to open in aki or my stock text message app or facetime as you just saw there because we were in a facetime uh, if we were in an iMessage or a, a text message, it would be a, available in Aki is what I'm trying to get at and can't seem to spit it out today. Uh, you also have weather directly on here. And you see up here at the top, you have this little, you can, when you touch these things, they drop down and you see that I'm doing that now. You just have to tap the little icons and that's a little bit easier said than none looks like. Anyway, you get the drop down here, but down here at the bottom in the corner, I have it turned on too. If you tap that, you get the big screen here with your five-day forecast and the highs and lows and all that, which makes it very nice to have right on your screen. But as you can see, you've got little contacts here, and if you tap those, it will ask you if you want to call, send a message, FaceTime, or anything like that. And you can just touch any of these if you want to open up Pinterest. You just touch the little trick of my jigger there and it'll pop it right open like so i'm having a world of time here it looks, looks like getting this rolling okay there's facetime opening and closing for some reason i can't get the pinterest to open up but there's pandora you see you just tap and it opens tap and it closes uh, and let's go in and look around some of the settings on this guys Go into the settings and go into lock info. And right here we got uh, several things. First of all, you get a 14 day trial, so you don't even have to buy it for two weeks. You can check it out. And you, in here you can go in and set up your lock screen, your notification lock screen, I should say, to look like whatever you want it to. You can enable and turn off about anything imaginable. Um, and I'm just gonna leave that for you to, to, to check out. And here's an include. If you don't want something in there, you just simply hit the little edit button and drag it down here to the do not include section right here. And you see I've got a pretty long list of do not includes and I've got the amber and emergency alerts turned on and things like that. But there's a whole lot of settings that goes with this guys. You can change the appearance. If you want to slide to have the slide to unlock, hide the clock, hide the status bar clock, uh, and have the album art. I would recommend having the album art because it looks pretty jumbled up, and I'll show you what I mean by that. I'll turn it on, and now when we open up or start our music, okay, you're going to see what I mean. And as you can see, it's not showing for some reason. It must require a respring, okay? But it just, you know, if you put album art in there along with all those contacts and things, it just looks all jumbled up. I wouldn't recommend it. But you can dim your screen, you can bypass the, the passcode, and you can change the way the notifications look here on this uh, notification screen here. Uh, you see it, it's changed the way this functions as well. You can change the today, the all to however you want it to show up. Guys, overall, this is just a kick-ass tweak. And if you're wanting something like that to 
have all your notifications directly on your screen, I would just suggest Lock Info 7. It's definitely an awesome tweak. Check it out. I know you're going to enjoy it. Please give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video today. If you're not a subscriber, we'd love to have you here. Hit that subscribe button before you leave today. We would really appreciate that. And as always, share it on Facebook and Twitter and anywhere else you want to share it. And keep coming back.